Hello everyone, today I have a custom LEGO minifigure review from Eclipse Graphics. If you want to check out any of their other videos, you can click right up here in the top right corner. Um, today I got their, uh, I have the one of their Overwatch minifigs, but these are their Brickwatch minifigures. Got the other two. So uh, we'll start with Phantom, because I actually kind of like him better. Um, I think I've said before, I've never played Overwatch, seen the gameplay of it, so I do, I do know of the characters. Um, package is pretty simple, they come in the containers as always. You get the minifig and then you also get their little card, so it says Phantom, Brickwatch and their uh, website and website of course is right there and then nothing on the back of the card I'm going to jump right into it so this is the Phantom as called on their website but he is based off the Overwatch character called Reaper or the Reaper uh, I think it's just Reaper let me slide these out because it's not focusing on him so here's the overall minifigure he does dual wield the um, what are they called they're called Hellfire Shotguns so the uh, sawed-off double barrels are the closest you can get to them with these are. These are brick arms. So I'm going to take those off. Take off his hood for now. And I don't think there's any back printing on his legs, so I don't have to remove the cloth. Nope, no back printing on the legs, so I can just keep him how he is. So this is Reaper. As you can see, he has the um, mask on. It's kind of like a bone mask. Again, I've never played the game. I do just have kind of his information pulled up. That link will be down below, of course, as well. But printing on there is nice, as always. They do a great job with the minifigs and the detailing to them. Really like it. The white shows up really nice on the uh, black uh, minifig head. Even with the detailing and some of the gray. And you can see the cracks in the, um, or the design in the forehead of the minifigure's face. Looks really nice. No printing on the back of the head. Coming down to the chest and torso, you can see he's kind of got the um, oh, trench coat or overcoat on, you can see. Some ammo across the chest. I think that's ammo. Again, I've never played the game, but I assume it is. It looks like some shotgun shells. I know when he shoots them, he kind of throws them down and picks two new ones up. Out of nowhere, but it is a video game. Again, printing looks good. You can see it. Sorry about the glare. Straps on the chest. Uh, design underneath looks really nice. The armor, he's got a strap going down, and then to the la um, waist and legs, you can see the belt right there. This has a lot of glare to it. There you go. That's a good view. Again, he's got some more shotgun shells on the legs right here, strapped on. The boots are really cool. There's little faces on them. It looks like like horn demons with the red eyes. Those look really nice. Coming to the side, printing on the arm, you can see it's more armor, there's white, black detailing, and kind of a gauntlet on his wrist. Or the Vembrace. Same as this side, but it is a little different. He's got some spikes on this side. There is printing on the side of the legs. The coat kind of blocks it, but I can fold that up really quick to show some of it. Again, the boots look really nice. I've been wanting this minifigure. They actually, he was off the website for a little bit and then they uh, restocked him. Coming to the back of the minifigure, you can see this is kind of a spine detailing. Straps along the bag go to the front of the jacket. I really like the cloth. There's no back printing on the legs. Really do like the cloth. It adds a nice uh, design detail to him. We'll put his cloak or his hood back on. And then we'll give him his two shotguns. And that is their Phantom, of course, is his name, but he is Reaper from uh, Overwatch. And the little information says, Hellfire Shotguns, the ghostly ability to become immune to damage and the power to step between shadows make Reaper one of the deadliest beings on Earth. That's a little backstory about him if you've never played uh, Overwatch. But I know a lot of people have. So that is him. And now we'll get to the next minifig. By the way, also came in as their sticker, as always. I like the stickers. And now we got Blink. Of course, we'll open her up. Same kind of packaging. It's got the spot for the one minifig. And then, of course, it has the card. Just says Blink Brick Watch instead on this one, instead of uh, the Phantom. Let me pull up her thingy really quick, just so I can have her information. And she comes with her... Um, she has Toting Twin Pulse Pistols. Those are her weapons. So this is Blink. There we go. And she is Tracer, I believe. Yep, this is uh, this minifigure is Tracer in Overwatch. She comes with uh, two of her pulse pistols. 
and they are the same. These are nice. I like the pistols. And now to the minifigure. Um, again, these look exactly like the video game counterpart to them in Lego version, of course. The hair looks really nice. I do like this hair piece. It's the rubber raw uh, one, so it works really well with the minifigure. No back printing, so I can leave the hair on. You can see she's got her goggles on. I'll kind of pull the hair off for a minute, actually. See, she's got her goggles on, the orange lenses in them. Happy look to her. Eyebrows raised up. Nice printing, as always. And then coming down to her chest and torso, you can see her outfit. She's got, I assume this is like a pulse reactor on her chest connected to her outfit. See, she's got some skin showing collars up there. Some straps right here connected to it. And then the printing does come down from the chest down to the waist. You can see right there. And then both of these minifigures do come apart. Does not hurt the printing in any way. Just want to show that. Then coming down to her legs and waist, you can see the orange uh, main color, and then so there's some straps going along the front. You can see the boots look really nice as well on this minifig. Coming to the side, again, you can see there's kind of a, it's kind of a t-shirt. You can see she's got a logo right there and some uh, things to show what rank she is. Then again, she does have a gauntlet or Vembrace armor. And then to the side, you can see... She's got some straps connected to, looks like uh, like a lacing into the pants. Again, the boots, you can see the soles of the shoes, really nice. And to this side, you can see she's got the um, UK flag or England flag right there on her shoulder. Again, t-shirt and then the uh, wrist armor. And then same printing on this side, but one of the straps does go across the opening. And the shoes again. And then to the back, again, she's kind of got like the arc reactor in the back. The armor looks really nice on the back uh, of the minifig. You can see on the sides where it curves in on the figure. Again, the printing does come down from the torso to the uh, waist and legs. The straps from the front come around the back. And then she does have the shoes on the back as well. Nice minifig overall. I do like the Overwatch minifigures a lot. I hope they do make more in the future. They do have three of them. Again, as I said, I think I have Infinity, or Infantry 76 was the other one that they have right now. But this is Blink, or Tracer, as in the video game. So again, really like their minifigures. They do a great job, as always. So links will be down below for these minifigures, of course. Don't forget to check out my other uh, Eclipse graphics uh, videos right up here. And uh, their links will be down, to go, down at the bottom as well. Uh, be sure to like the video if you haven't already liked it, and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and as always, thanks for watching.